Samurai Talk. Today we're having a clash of ideas and wits, hopefully guts. Uh, we'll be debating with uh, uh, the CEO of Metropolis, Niru-san. Nice of you to come back. Thanks, Matsumoto-san. Nice, nice to be here nice again. To be. And you have a great sense of humor. Like uh, latest issue of Metropolis magazine says, the Lord of the Rings. What? Lord of the Rings? How did you come up with this? Well, this guy's a famous sumo wrestler. And of sumo course, rings! <laughs> sumo as in the sumo ring, yeah. Lord is, he was one of the top uh, fighters, so uh, he was one of the, the champions, so yes. That's why we use this wordplay. And in English, uh, this wordplay is very important in journalism. And uh, that's a part of the, uh, the, the, the great thing of reading Metropolis magazine, especially for foreigners. Well, the play includes uh, play or words. It does. And so we, uh, for example, uh, it's a free paper. Uh, it's distributed in Tokyo, 30,000 copies. Uh, it's got a great readership. Uh, mostly foreigners are reading it, some Japanese who, who want to learn about English. the free papers, but this here is a priceless. That's the play word, priceless. The play words. <laughs> so priceless, priceless means invaluable. Invaluable. Worth any amount of money, but it's also free, priceless. Hence uh, the joke in the words, the and play in the words. It's pretty creative, a uh, pun. Yes, a pun. Clash of fests. What does that mean? So uh, these two, this was a, a foreigner who, who did this, uh, this uh, animation, this illustration of two uh, fierce samurais fighting it out. One's got a guitar. Actually, it's not the fist. No. Fests. It's what? a fest. Fest. Clash fest. of fests. Fest. Festivals. Festivals. There you go. So you have to see and focus on the words to understand what we're saying. Yeah. A picture is worth a while thousand words. What about the metropolis? The, this particular issue grabbed my attention. Silence. Silence! Yes, a great movie. Again, uh, one of the things about our magazine is, is trying to find out deep Japan. Deep what is it Japan. that's happening in Japan that not even Japanese really realize? And Christianity, many, many years ago, was something that was fiercely pushed back uh, by the Japanese. And so this movie uh, depicts uh, Christianity and its, and its entrance into, into Japanese society. So a very powerful movie. So it has, uh, um, it has attraction for a, a foreign reader, but it's also something that's very, very deep in Japan. And this is what we look for in Metropolis, uh, for stories which are, are deep and meaningful and have an attraction for a foreign reader, but also something very powerful in Japan. When you did this, Neil, uh, you did it on your own. There was no uh, uh, editor-in-chief. There was just a chief operating officer, Neil Butler. Well, you did it on your own. No, no, no. Actually, at that time, my, uh, my editor-in-chief was too shy to get his photo <laughs> in there. <laughs> so he's, be... he's in the latest ones. But, uh, but no, I've got a fantastic team of uh, foreigners. Our magazine is a uh, magazine for foreigners mostly. Our international people, and it's built by foreigners. But you started on this first. Yes. And he sort of uh, drifted into here. How, how did you pick? How, how does he fit? Does he fit in? Well, uh, I run the company, but, uh, <laughs> but in terms of the content, uh, I have a fantastic team. And he's the leader of the team, Josh, mm. uh, a great creative guy from America. Um, and uh, we have a team of all foreign people, the designers, the writers, they're all foreigners who are living here, who have a great passion to um, showcase the wonderful things about Japan to, uh, to foreign people, both here with the print magazine and online through our website internationally. How you put uh, ideas together, just to watching those people and you know, arguing back and forth, hoping to create something new, something, you know? Uh, I, don't, I don't think there's much argument. Uh, well, the only mm -hmm. argument we have is how do we fit all of the fantastic content about Japan into a small magazine? And we're stuck. It's a monthly magazine and we just don't have enough pages. Uh, uh -huh. But there is so much happening in Japan. There are so many wonderful things that we like to present to the world. Uh, it's, it's, it's just which of the fantastic stories we actually are going to pick this month. Yeah. Uh, should the, the disagreement arise as to which gets the most uh, space, a uh, K's club, a uh, trunk hotel, 
Leo's Rising and the Burger. And you know, the, you're just watching them from outside looking in. Who has the last word? You. Uh, no, uh, my editor in chief, that's what an editor in chief is all about. He Should has there a the uh, uh, disagreement occur between you and the editor in chief? Who has the last word? I do. You do. As the publisher. You are the boss. I'm the boss, yeah. You are the boss. But uh, that never occurs because uh, there's so much fantastic content and, uh, and I've got a great uh, editor in chief and he picks some mm. fantastic stories. It's very stories. modest of you to admit <laughs> that you are the only one who, you know, runs the show and everything. But there's uh, occasions when uh, you really have to do a, a deep coverage like uh, Hori Yoshi. Tattoo master, there was no play word. It's a hard part. Yeah, we went straight to the heart of Japan. <laughs> Tattoos in well, Japan. Well, people try to stay away from Dong. Yeah. Didn't everybody twist your arm and talk you out of it? No. no. Why not? Because this is what uh, needs to be uh, spread around the world about the wonderful Why? things about Japan. Because tattoos are great. Japan sees them as a bad side, but the rest of the world sees tattoos as art. And so uh, we want to showcase uh, the, the mystique around tattoos, the, uh, the finesse, and uh, Horiyoshi is, is one guy, yeah. which is the master. I mean, he's the, the most famous tattooist in Japan. And, yeah. uh, and this guy and tattooists around Japan uh, are under pressure. You know, they're under pressure yeah, to cut right. them out. You know, Japanese <laughs> laws are, are making it difficult for tattooists to actually do their job now. Now you oh, have to be I a doctor see. in mm. Osaka to, mm -hmm. uh, to create a tattoo. But around the world, uh, Japanese tattoos are revered. Mm -hmm. You know, they're beautiful, the colours that they use, the designs. And so many people come from overseas to get a tattoo in Japan. Mm -hmm. And so it's that mystique around tattoos in Japan, it's the history. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, tied up with the, uh, connected with the Yakuza. You yeah. can't go into a bathhouse if you have a tattoo. <laughs> now, foreign yeah, tourists, they don't me, know that. Yeah. Me okotowari. Yeah. Tattoos not permitted in. How do you counter that? Well, the foreigner says, what? What? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. But there is a name that we can explain. It. Yeah. Except and we you. explain that through here. You know, we, we try to demystify, <laughs> demystify Japan. Demystify Japan. And, and we try to explain the fantastic things are about Japan that have some mystery behind, mm -hmm. behind them. But a lot of the stuff that we write about, uh, Japanese don't even know. And that's the excitement uh, You see, excitement uh, of the K's Club, uh, Leo's Rising, and it did attract a lot of fans, but not this. It is supposed to be very serious. You're money losing. Operation. No, this is one of our favorite stories this year. Really? You yeah. made money on this, but you still keep losing money. No, no. Right here, nothing funny. Yeah, it doesn't have to be funny all the time. <laughs> but it has to have uh, a deep uh, meaning deep. in Japan. Deep meaning. And it has Can to you explain to us more about the, what you mean by deep? Well, uh, a lot of the uh, publications you get in Japan are, are, um, are just on the surface of Japan. Go to Mount Fuji, catch the Shinkansen. But uh, in terms of really understanding Japan, uh, the Japan that we as foreigners living here love, you have to be much deeper. Yeah. You know, there is, a, mm -hmm. there is an underbelly of Japan which needs to get out there, needs to be spread around the world. Mm -hmm. That's what Metropolis is trying mm -hmm. to do. Endo shows the ideas. For the Japanese, Christianity is just a Western dress suit. You can put it on and take it off anytime you want. Not it is me. Tattoo, That's right. you're part of it. You're a samurai dedication, commitment to your principle. Samurai never lie. <laughs> so, it's very deep. Yes. But the people try to stay away from that. It takes a gaijin writer. The, the guy looking on the outside, looking in, can get away with a lot of things that Japanese journalists cannot get away with. Do you oh, accept yes, that? I true? agree that. Can you, yeah. you're still going strong on this. How much longer are you going to continue with this? Well, the magazine's been running for 23 years, Matsumoto-san. Uh, we're going to be around for at least another 23 years. Another 23 years, so you're going to stay in Japan as long as you're around Absolutely, here. Uh -huh. yeah. Separating from your wife and children. Yes, they're back in Australia. You meet your commitment, your samurai dedication to this well, cause. Well, there are a lot of uh, foreigners here who committed to Japan. 
really? and are very positive about Japan. I uh -huh. mean, the thing about Metropolis, it's not negative. We don't talk deep about politics. We mm -hmm. don't talk deep about crime. We don't talk deep about negativity. There's too mm -hmm. much negativity. Well balanced. And positive. Positive. And showing the fantastic things about yeah. Japan to foreigners. Metropolis magazine. Metropolis. Uh, an English magazine, wow. free paper, 30,000 copies, the number one English uh, magazine in Japan. I say that with great confidence because uh, there's no uh, other magazine that prints this many copies. We distribute in 900 locations around Tokyo, mostly in Tokyo, and it's about promoting positive Japan. We have some famous people on the covers. We talk about deep Japan. え、この雑誌のいいところ、あの、history, there's lots of different things to talk about Japan. There's too much information. And we only have 40 pages, so uh, a monthly magazine, I've got to get this out to as many people as we can. We're we're limited with our budget. So, Tokyo is the main place for the magazine. Good reading for Japanese, if they want to study their English. We use a great play of words, wordplay, um, but it's about Japan. え、考えてます。ま、日本について